My name is Dylan Prasad, I'm a fourth year BC student. My name is Daniel, I'm in my third year. My name is Taylor Young, I'm a fourth year. My name is Godwin Chan, I'm in the fourth year of the Biomedical Discovery and Commercialization program. My name is Rachel Fong. I'm currently part of the master's class of the BDC program at McMaster University. I was really interested in going beyond just learning theories and actually seeing how scientific theory kind of translates into the real world through business applications. For me, this was really the best of both worlds to be able to combine science and business together into one uh, cohesive program and a very tight-knit program at that. We learn a lot of the real world significance that comes out of scientific discovery because I think that in some of the more natural science programs you're very focused on um, you know the theory and what the discoveries themselves are but there's kind of a big gap that's not addressed in terms of how uh, new discoveries actually make it onto the market and how um, the market demands actually work backwards and drive those discoveries as well. The program really focuses on the uh, drug discovery kind of aspect and the pharmaceutical industry and so with that kind of target of focus in mind then we have that kind of marriage between two worlds. I would I would say given the current landscape of programs um, other than BDC, I would say it's probably pretty rare to have that kind of dual skill set just because um, if you're doing a Bachelor of Commerce, you're going to be very focused on um, just business, whereas if you're doing a, a science degree, you're going to be looking at, you know, like research and basic science a lot of the time. I feel very often when I speak to people who are just purely in the science, they don't fully gauge um, what it takes to get a research from within the lab to um, into the market. Very often they'll be working on something that they find very interesting, but it may not have high commercial potential, which could um, become a trouble when you're looking for grants or actually trying to fund it using private equity, things like that. I initially thought that if you have a good idea, say from a healthcare standpoint, um, it'll take flight by itself, but I guess a lot of what our projects um, and our presentations have taught me is that the way that you present your work is really what makes it fly and having that business um, lingo, having that business background, being able to communicate a scientific idea to say a board of directors. I think that part of how uh, our program and the BDC program is really preparing people to change the world is giving us that real world experience and um, the interdisciplinary connections. Um, an example of this would be in our courses, there's always a lot of hands-on group work, so we're always given cases or real world problems and told to uh, go off in groups, solve them. We come back together and we're able to present our solutions. So I think the best part of the BDC program would be the opportunity to network and to collaborate with really uh, ambitious and driven and like-minded individuals or peers and being able to foster these kinds of uh, healthy connections uh, but not only with the students but also with uh, in industry partners or uh, industry people. I'm wrapping up my internship right now where, I'm a, where I was a business development analyst and that kind of shapes my mentality or thinking of future grad opportunities because now I have a great interest in market access and regulatory, which were the things that I was working on before. Whereas um, if you asked me a year ago, I'd probably say something totally different. Um, so now that I'm about to graduate from the program, me and another student within the program are actually starting up our own company. We focus on trading, uh, investing within the foreign exchange market. So what we're looking to do is develop mathematical and statistical software for it. We're taking the data analysis of skills that we developed for this program and interdisciplinary knowledge. Yeah, so I don't have it completely figured out right now, but I would say that my plans mainly involve working in the pharmaceutical industry. And I think that the program really uh, addresses those needs by looking at the current pharmaceutical industry in Canada and how um, it's largely focused on you know, um, regulatory barriers and the financial implications of discovery. And I think it helps to really bridge the gap between why certain, um, why certain discoveries end up on the market um, compared to the research that's actually going on. What I envision is uh, me being able to be in the forefront of uh, Kind of translational work and so what that entails is really uh, looking at the basic research that's coming out of the research laboratories and then also considering the many different clinical applications that could be yielded from uh, those kinds of uh, research efforts. I think really a BDC really prepared me for embarking on this venture by giving me the confidence as a science student to pursue business. 
Um, personally, I've always been interested in business ever since I was in high school. But uh, for, for example, the science really um, appealed to me due to the fact that I'm very curious. So by uh, coming into this program, I was able to apply that curiosity to the business environment, which also allowed me to improve my data analysis skills, which essentially BDC is more so not about what you learn, but it's the skills you develop, and those skills can be applied to anything. I was formally trained as a chemical biologist. You know, I always had an interest in business, but I never really had a chance to foster those skills. And then this BDC program really came at the right time. So I'm here because I want to learn more, and I want to have more skills as I graduate and move on to other things.